welcome to Caribbean Insights. We have an explosion of Caribbean videos lined up for you. Tonight, you will be experiencing international artists displaying the cultural rhythms of soca, calypso, reggae, dancehall, and salsa. So relax, and let's take a ride down the Caribbean. Hey, you know this girl in the Desperado, the black Spaniard, the leader of the Godfather's Asylum, we never while and we just take lyrical bodies, stack them and pile them. It's the lyrical, never gimmical, never comical, put them light down, you don't know. It's girl insane, you're watching right now, Caribbean inside, running right through America, representing the Caribbean full right up in colors. Straight, you don't know, fire! Welcome to Caribbean Insight. I'm your host, Lady V. And for the next two weeks, I think it's time for us to laugh, really laugh. Forget we stress, forget the bills, forget the boss, forget the dog, forget everything and laugh. Right, the man, if you see fight, you don't come and fight, if you see your legs, well, let the white man outside. He said, stop, stop, you're gonna kill him. I said, no, man, I'm teaching him a lesson. He said, not you, I was talking to my husband. <laughs> I didn't get that job. And I had to become a full-time superhero. But before that, I got a night nice at the job working for a tiny man, a tiny man named Mr. Wong. All I had to do was sit down in the office all day and just answer the phone. So I named Mr. Wong called me in the office. He said, since you start working here, I stop getting phone calls. You saw you don't answer the phone properly? I said, of course I didn't answer the phone properly. Anybody call I didn't say, hello, wrong number. <laughs> it's them who let them up for itself. Then he tell me, he said, I thought I tell you to stop making overseas calls on my phone. I said, I never make overseas calls on your phone. When I have overseas calls to make, I just unplug your phone and plug in mine. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> that is when I become a full time to buy you. The first person I went to say is that old lady who stand up on the side of the road. And nobody in the person to cross. So I lift you up. I dance four lane of traffic and drop it quite on the other side. And when I meet you, the old lady start to beat me to Ambala. I say, what you do that for? She say, you know how long it takes me to reach that cross there? <laughs> And next time, I see a man snatch a woman put and touch the one. So I run him down, and I take it back, and I bring it back to you. You know I bring it back to you, you no one handbag. I say, what you do that for? He said, you have no right to be in spandex. <laughs> and next time, I went to save a woman who was chopping up a 10 story building and the building burning. So I went up to the, I tell the fireman, I said, move, I can save you. So I went up to the building. I said, jump! He said, it's a 10 story building. I can't jump if I jump back the dead. I said, we're well, jumping in the two men pool. The woman jumped in the two men pool. You know, she's still dead. <laughs> now, I don't know what kills me. But I thought she didn't jump because the fool didn't have no water. <laughs> and next time, I went to say, I see a man cast a dung on the side of the wood and was a bad neighborhood, so I went to help him. I said, What happened? He said, I get a flat tire. I said, so you can't drive the car, though? He said, 
never drive the car to a go run off the road. I tell you why. It's because all four tires have to be the same thing. So I bust the other three. <laughs> I don't know what to get on the I know you guys enjoy that. Laughter is the best medicine. Hello? How will I? I will get to know you. You will get to know me. All the Trinities in the house? Any Jamaicans here? Barbados? Guyana? Hello? Get his head in America. <laughs> and Johnny Cash just dead. And Bob Hope. And Johnny Cash, no hope. <laughs> Give my get his friends a clap. It's a mad, mad world we're living in, partner. Trust me. Things getting crazy left, right, and center. Uh, and in Barbados, the mental hospital is over incapacitated. <laughs> but the poor people always say there are more madmen in than out. Uh, excuse me? They got more madmen in the mental hospital than out. Yeah, for real. That's what the old people used to say. But it changed. Just the other day, I passing by the mental hospital in Barbados. And every time I approaching them big fence with the madmen peeping through, I just shift to the middle of the road. And I go in down the middle of the road and I hear a voice say, Trevor Eastman, come here. When I look, a madman. So I ain't moving. He said, don't be frightened, come here. So I step a little closer. He said, come closer. Have something to tell you. So I go closer. He said, come closer. So I go right near the fence. He said, put your ear there. <laughs> Don't be frightened. I put my ear. Hear the madman tell me, Eastman, I could get you out of there, you know. <laughs> Hello. The old people say, Every madman got the own sense. For the Belgians would know there is a madman who is making my life hell. In Barbados, the man burn up the doctor, light a hotel, snatch the budget speech from the prime minister. And you know what hurt? He has the same name as me. Trevor Eastman sent to the psychiatric hospital. Everybody don't care where I go. Madman. <laughs> Some people, they'll be, God bless them two hands. Eh? So I get, I mean, after six months of stress, I decide I must meet this fella with the same name as me. I gone to the mental hospital, go by the gate, security guard stop me. Who are you going to look for? I said, Trevor Eastman. And who are you? I said, Trevor Eastman. He said, no, I ain't asked you who you looking for. Who are you? After whole hour, trying to show this man, I am Trevor Eastman. They let me in. I go in to see this Trevor Eastman, and he in a cage. I said, boss, you know me? He said, no. 
I said, well, let me tell you, right? My name is Trevor Eastman. I'm a comedian. And you got people with your foolishness thinking I is you. And as a madman, he said, don't dig nothing and hear the feel as a comedian. Have we got madmen smart, partner? Hey, right by the mental hospital gate. One to stand up every morning, 8 o'clock. Bus stop right there. And three sisters waiting for the bus to go to work. And watch the madman. Blue! Yellow! Next morning, he go, brown, lilac, gray. Next morning, white, black, black. You know, after a week, them three sisters realize this madman have to have x-ray vision. He know exactly what color panties them wearing. <laughs> so the sisters decide they're going to trick he. Then wear none. And standing up at the bus stop, madman look and can't decipher. But in real madman style and fashion, he said, curly, naughty, ball. <laughs> it's a mad world we live in. And then we got an um, international madman now. Got the word terrorized. Latest news out of Iraq. Saddam Hussein just killed 27 of his 32 wives. Let me repeat that. <laughs> Latest news out of Iraq. Saddam Hussein just killed 27 of his 32 wives. Reason? Every time he look under the skirt, he see Bush. <laughs> and then we got madmen and all kind of size, heights and fashion. Hey, and you know I from Barbados, so everywhere I go, hear them people, bulla. Don't laugh. Not that I won't bull. But I'm a man busy 24 hours a day. I just ain't got the time. It's a nasty job. Somebody got to do it. So if you are a bull, don't be shy. Raise your hand. But imagine two bullers. And for those of you who don't know what is a buller, that's the noun. Bull is the verb. <laughs> Bullying is the pronoun, adjective, adverb. Hello. And two bullers having a conversation. And one said, yo, you heard about the war? The other one said, what war? He said, where, what kind of radio you listening to and what papers you reading, what TV you got? <laughs> the war in Iraq, fool. You ain't know America attack them people from behind. <laughs> and some countries against it, some countries fall. So what do you think? Hear the bullet, Lord. If that is so, and countries against, and some far, when America attack Iraq from behind, you think Greece hell? <laughs> How would the feeling? Everybody get over there. I, 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 a virgin, I know about them homosexual thing. Nothing about there. Look, just the idea. Two men gone fishing. 
200 miles off Barbados near Trinidad. Uh, uh, and all them catch was a little shark. Whole week them fishing. And all them catch was a little shark. One get bored, tell the next one, hey, what we can do with that shark? He said, well, he ain't big enough for two. Uh, look around the ocean and see no next boats in close proximity. And he said, look, Nobody ain't around. Let me bully you. <laughs> and then you bull me. And who bulled the best? Get the shark. <laughs> Fella say he first. Bull the man for 45 minutes. When he dead, look at him, man. My turn now. Man said, you turn? Why well, don't eat shark? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> eh? Uh, uh, and this, this, this Trinidad, Barbados, Bacchanal over flare fish and, uh, uh, and sea water. And it got Bajan fishermen frightened. Check this scenario, eh? Bajan fishermen fishing for 20 years. Boat get take up, train that Coast Guard, whole he. Confiscate the boat, make it pay two million, train that dollars. <laughs> I saw him last month. I said, how business? He said, Eastman, I done fishing, done with that. All the fishing in Trinidad, and going down there is stress. I ain't going. I said, so what are you going to do with the boat? He said, I taking out tourists. So I see the first day, I said, how business? He said, boy, I advertise. And a brunette from Australia come on this boat. And Eastman, if you see breasts, man, breasts like dirt, and you know me, I'm a breast man. So I take she 10 miles off Barbados, stop the boat, take out the key, throw it overboard. <laughs> and I tell she sex or swim. <laughs> and she cares swim. So you know what happened. I see the man the next day. I said, what happened today? He said, I advertise. Take out a blonde from America. And if you see breasts, breasts like dirt. So he takes you 20 miles off Barbados, stop the boat, throw out the key, and tell she sex or swim. And she can't swim. Third day, so what happened today? He said, I take out a red head. From Canada. And if you see breasts, man, breasts like dirt. And I take she 40 miles off my bed, man. Stop the boat, choke the key, that she sex or swim. And she can't swim. Fourth day, she walking funny. <laughs> I said, What happened today? He said, I advertise and get no tourists. A Belgian woman walk up to my boat. But if you see breasts, man, breasts like that, I said, she gonna know me. So he taking she a hundred miles of Barbados, man. If you see breasts, man. I stopped the boat, throw out the key, and tell she sex. Oh, swim. It's man, when she take off, she blows. If you see breast, man, breast like dirt. When she take off, she skirt. If you see dick.
and I can't swim. I know you guys are enjoying it, but don't take it for granted. Remember, this is the movement of our people, our history, and our culture. Greetings from TNT. I am Tigress. This is the original dance master. This is Marshall Montana. I'm Brother Valentino. This is Marcia Miranda. Caribbean Insight. Yes, I watch them all the time. They're bad. Caribbean Insight. Really is dynamite. Caribbean Insight. Really super. Do a spite. Caribbean Insight. Enjoy day or night. Caribbean Insight. I know you guys are enjoying it, but don't take it for granted. I'm Super Blue. My name is Gypsy. My name is Barry Simon. This is the messenger. So what I thought you die, I know. Glenn Washington says so. Caribbean Insight. Depths. Caribbean Insight. Caribbean Insight. Caribbean Insight. Please check Caribbean Insight. I took my dog to the veterinarian last week Saturday For he regular shots and I check up and to hear what doc had to say Two ladies sat down in front of me, one young and one kinda old They had box on the lap, inside had a cat, listen how the story go granny Well my cat is a great cat, she don't like to knock all about She would see things there and won't interfere, she don't put her things in her mouth And furthermore, she wants got bite, so now she's afraid of fights between me and you, I'm speaking the truth. I think she more dead than alive. Well, Granny, my cat is the total opposite of what you just talk about. Look, she black, not gray, always running away, and she loves to put things in she mouth. And if she in a fight and she gets a bite, man, I don't worry at all. One thing about this cat, she can handle herself. She taking on big or small. So I tell them, black cat, white cat, gray cat, brown cat, any cat is cat. Well, it's no cat, short cat, slim cat, fat cat, all them cat is cat. You have to beat it, groom it, pet it, feed it, to have a healthy pet. Oh, so if you own one, don't treat it with scorn. Your puss will long in the dead, right? I was caught by surprise, I'm telling no lies, this is what I overheard. And believe it or not, I sat there in shock, cause to me this was quite absurd. These ladies talking about they can't argue when which one is boss. So I pull up my chair and I cock up my ear, to mark out some more, of course. My cat's so fluffy, her name is Buffy, she's bathed every day of the week. She don't like them rats, she's a funny cat eating only expensive meats. And when I fall, I don't have to call, she right here taking a nap. And if strays come to play, I'll chase them away, or sometimes I get them a Excuse attack. me, well my pussy frisky and just like me, she love to go to the mall. She love to run rat, and on top of that, let's play with she twining balls. She don't need to shave, don't talk about bed, all you know how cat friend water. It fat up for soap, have little food, but don't go on if you know how I love her. So I tell them black cat, white cat, gray cat, brown cat, any cat is cat. Whether it's tall cat, short cat, slim cat, fat cat, all them cat is cat. You have to beat it, groom it, pet it, feed it to keep it healthy and strong. And please buy a leash to keep ready, please, and don't let it knock about town, right? The old lady's pet came out of the box and sat on the doctor's mat. My dog see that and start to attack the lady had the ball for she cat. Young girl get vex and let go she pet. She say no it's two, two for one. one. Man they corner my dog and a ball out a lot. Bubble chat nowhere to run. What the hell wrong with you? Muzzle that dog before he bite up my cat. No, I ain't taking sorry. Neither money, them dogs that attack from the back. Hey, Not both. Look he don't play in such to jump up quick trying to give my feet in a leg. But my cat fears she really don't get to get you off your knee, that big stick. Mom, I ain't trying to be rude or dampen your mood, but this dog makes with pit bull. That? that? Although he little small and can't walk at all, he really is a handful. Look, I know he little frail and have a short tail, but this dog can't do no wrong. 
He's not a watchdog, care back at all, but he have a huge dog. So he's singing black cat, white cat, grey cat, brown cat, any cat is cat. Well, his dog cat, short cat, slim cat, fat cat, all them cat is cat. You have to bait it, groom it, pet it, feed it, and watch her company. How the lies are you wouldn't want to know, your cat ends up with disease, right? Yes, that was Boyd Bacchanal and his crew from the Maljo Kaiso Tent. We here on Caribbean Inside want to say a special thank you to all the people who have been supporting us here. I'm the Lord Kitchen. This is Rootsman. This is Sunel Dempsey. My name is Winston Bailey, better known as Shadow. This is Calypsonian Squeezy. I watch no other but Caribbean Inside. Caribbean Inside. That is dynamite. Caribbean Inside. Despite Caribbean insight, enjoy day or night. Caribbean insight, really is dynamite. We are back here on Caribbean Insight, and I'm your host, Lady V. And tonight we are featuring fathers and brothers who do great impersonation of women. Check out Granny. You check she out. Come now, go now, oh God, come now. Hey, 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 come Woman, I am a bottle to give you. Darling, it's not that I want, it's you. <laughs> you want me? Oh, God, I always didn't know it was in my old age. I would have get my blessings. <laughs> Look, old man, all your children, and I could never like you. Oh, God, I will do anything for you. You sure about that? Yes, darling. I'll jump in front of truck now. <laughs> I will do better than that. I will go to the end of the world for you. Yeah? Yeah. You think you can stay there? <laughs> All right, let me change it. I live in right down the road there. You want to come by me? Two of we can't fit in that box on King Street. <laughs> so what the hell? I try to meet you somewhere before, you know? That is why I don't go back there. Oh, I'm in peace, my man. Yeah, then you knock me out with your looks. And you knock me out with your breath. <laughs> What's it now? Oh God, let me ask you a question before I go. You're religious? Yes. Well, I the answer to your prayers. <laughs> Look, woman. Give me a blast to show you're stinking up the place. Oh Lord. Hey, hey, look at people. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, I might be dressed for the occasion. I was just picking up bottle out there. I hear a man shooting. When I look up, I see this man. <laughs> well, I say me suiting, so I can't. Hey, it's not you I was suiting it. It's a woman in a car that was passing. You lying! You didn't see the car? I don't like you. But I like you. <laughs> what I get myself in, boy? Why you don't come here and find out? <laughs> I ain't that curious. Some man they know what they want, you know. <laughs> they just see a piece of cloth passing and they... <laughs> hey, may you come inside here to pick up bottle, you know? You know how long me a cup you lay? <laughs> Woman, you don't find you're too old? I might be old, but I ain't cold. <laughs> we go bounce up again, because like you can't see a piece of cloth pass. Woman. You don't pass menopause long time. <laughs> Darling, it's menopause for right now. <laughs> oh, shit, man. When I hear him shoot me, so I get so hot from my bottle crack. <laughs> come on, blow. You coming? I don't come, so. Well, I'm willing to help. <laughs> And you come quite outside there suiting me, you now you're Brexit. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get out the people's place before they feel uncomfortable. You look like you only want to fool young girl. I'm glad you know I can't fool you. I pass the age of fooling for me to fool around. Hello. Woman, you're old like the road. Thing driving on the road long time, I look the road still standing. <laughs> You need some good Viagra. Well, I would drink it. You have it. <laughs> Hello, you want nothing to do? I'm waiting on you to start. <laughs> Woman, you looking like my dog. Thank you, darling. <laughs> Thanks for what? 
Dog is my best friend. Larry out of Trinidad and Tobago. I know you guys enjoying the laugh, but you know it's only a little peep I can give you guys. Greetings, my name is David Rudder. I am Mavis John. Yo, this is KMC. I'm Nicole Graves. Hey, this is Ronnie. This is Ronnie McIntosh. Hi, it's Brother Resistance. I am Ras Shorty Eye. I make sure that I watch Caribbean Inside. And so should you. Caribbean Inside. Ready is dynamite. Caribbean Inside. Spite, Caribbean inside, enjoy day or night. Caribbean inside, really is dynamite. I know you guys enjoying the laugh, and I keep telling you, laughter is the best medicine. But let's go stateside and check out the biggest Caribbean crew. That's 
a stormy, a rock, sprang on my finger. They played queen, I go do for them. Here, I go make them model. All in that, eh? Yes, and yes, when you see them model, I want them to clap and scream and whistle and kick, okay? All right, for that? Right. You, who is you?
Hey, B. The B is for ball. I am Mrs. Norris Gap, and I'm sponsored by the After Dark. Don't mind that I'm after Sprang, Tommy, and Errol. And as you can see, I came just after Errol. I don't have any hobbies. That is OK. Modern now. OK. the last 60 minutes. I know you saved plenty of money by the doctor. This is Trevor Wilkins. Long live Calypso. And I'm Lady V saying that I'll see you next week same time as we continue with more laughter. Here I go, we're in job three, but just answer the question. How, 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 answer the question? If you ask that question, I'll answer the question. What do you think it is? Go have question, ask me the question. The question is, yeah. if you should become pregnant, <laughs> would you be able to fulfill your duties as Miss Universe? I mean, a big belly never stopped me from doing my work yet. And to be said, 
If you want to harm Miss Universe Jack, you have to go down to Trump. Because my grandmother said, no ring, nothing. So if I have to carry out the thing, it will be Mr. and Mrs. Universe. That wasn't bad. That's, that's OK. All right. You know. You. But you can ask the same question. She don't hear any question. That's not fair. She get a chance to prepare. Oh, all the teeth in so. Yeah, that's the front, front question. That's the front question. But you hear me like Bacchanal? They should name you Mrs. Bacchanal. James. Come on, so you step fast. Wait, 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 wait. But you know you're right, you're right. I feel like it's okay. hungry. Well, wait, 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 Thank you. Now listen. If you were to come in the top 10 and they ask you to dance, what will you do? You should not ask that. I, I'm a Caribbean lady. You should, look, just put on some soca music. Let me show you what I can do. You watch me. I'm walking away with this prize tonight. Music, please. I hear no music. It looks as though I'm going to run out. Music, music, please. Okay.